Wow, this lighting is not good. Good morning. So I just woke up. Um, I had this song playing and I've been listening to this song um, just throughout the morning. It's called It's Time to Live Again. I put the song in like who was by down at the bottom at the description bar. But anyways, I've been listening to this song. It really just had me thinking a lot like, like this is my testimony. Like my son, he inspires me so like he inspires me so much. He is like he thinks that he is so great. Got to do because I tell him that all the time. I'm like, you great, you a young king, all of that. And he is. But I remember when I used to feel and think the way I remember when I was like that. Like when I was young, I felt so great. I felt so big. And the enemy hated that. Y'all know who the enemy is, right? So he hated that. And I had a lot of people, family, like close family members, um, people who I thought were my friends, in just situations that brought me down. And I became small. I stopped talking a lot, like... Like I didn't have a voice and that's what I became. Like a lot of the thoughts that I had in my head were really, really negative. I could not recognize God. Like I didn't know who God was or none of that. I just remember growing up feeling exhausted a lot, feeling afraid, feeling miserable like kind of like hopeless you know because I was always finding myself in situations where people made me feel like that you know I allow people to make me feel that way oh so my mom she has like this autoimmune disease and I was always afraid that something was going to happen to her like as a kid I was always afraid of like someone coming up to me or like getting a phone call or something like that, that, you know, about something bad happening to my mom. So I was just always scared for no reason. But she was in and out of the hospital like a lot. And, but I just, I would just always have these negative thoughts, right? I never told anyone the, what I was feeling. So I just kept it to myself. And I think I maybe prayed about it like once. And that was it. And then, like, randomly, I was like, you know what? No. I'm going to change these thoughts around. So I was like, instead of me constantly being fearful of something happening to my mom in this month, I'm like, no. I'm going to say my mom is going to live again in December. So, yes. I said, my mom, is something good is going to happen to her December. I don't know what it is, but something's going to happen in December. Five months had passed, right? Christmas Eve, my mom gets a phone call that she needs to come to the hospital right away because she had a kidney waiting on her. My mom has an autoimmune disease and it destroyed both of her kidneys. And so she had been on the transplant list for about maybe three, or a little bit over three years, I think. And so she was getting dialysis, but she ended up getting a call that she had a kidney waiting for her and she needed to go to the hospital so that they can um, start that process for the transplant. And it was just like, wow. It's just really mind blowing that I can pinpoint where God was in those situations. He was always there. God was in my past. He's in my present. And he's in my future. God showed me my future, you know. So I just wanted to encourage someone to stop doubting God's plans for you. And, you know, you can become that version of yourself that you see in your head if you continue to have faith in the process.